hello children as you all know on thursday during zoom class you will have the test of chapter 4 a and b part okay so this video this is a short video i'm just going to put for to help you how to study prepare for the test okay so as i told you in the first page it's all just introduction okay you can quickly go through them the actual thing starts from here okay cause of refraction cause of refraction what is the cause of refraction so you know what is refraction bending of light ray when it travels from one medium to another or change in direction this is the definition of refraction now the reason why does that happen the reason is given here why because of the change in speed of light when light goes from one medium to another and then i told you to continue this also due to change in their optical density so two things change in speed of light when it goes from one medium to another due to change in optical density the word optical is very important don't don't just write density it's optical density okay then come to laws of refraction so memorize these two laws exactly use the same words as given in the book laws and rules generally you have to stick on to the same words okay same plane for a pair of given media and the word ratio is important you know the moment many children you will miss the word ratio because the moment you think of second law sin i by sin r so sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction or ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction okay so don't forget that now that will become the definition of refractive index based on snell's law this is the definition of refractive index based on snell's law okay so refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium is the ratio of sin of angle of incidence in the first medium to sin of angle of incidence in the second medium next effect on speed frequency and wavelength so i told you to see the table in page 77 i made you write a table here so study from this frequency will not change when de for denser to rarer and rarer to denser frequency will never change for denser to rarer speed will increase wavelength will also increase for rarer to denser speed will decrease and wavelength also decreases okay then come to this part in this you have an, the definition of refractive index based on speed of light okay now children if nothing is given and they just ask define refractive index you always prefer writing this okay prefer writing this if they ask you define refractive index based on speed of light then you choose this formula speed of light in air or vacuum upon speed of light in medium now based on this there is a reasoning question why refractive index is always greater than 1 the reason is this one then there's another one what do you mean by the statement refractive index of diamond is 2.41 light travels 2.41 times faster light travels in air 2.41 times faster than in diamond it can be anything they can ask glass refractive index of glass is 1.5 what do you mean by that okay children then next is conditions for a light ray to pass undeviated so there are two conditions when angle of incidence is equal at the boundary is zero that is one condition the other one when the refractive index of both the mediums are same okay then come here this i told you to study only the conclusion and this is called law of reversibility please note this because in one question it was asked name the law law of reversibility okay so remember this then this part you need not study it's for practicals come to refractive refraction through a glass block this is the diagram i've been telling you so many times this diagram is very important and when you draw make sure the incident ray should be parallel to the emergent ray make sure you mark all the rays all the angles and arrow marks also okay and definition define ref lateral displacement define lateral displacement the term perpendicular distance is very important between emergent ray and incident ray then come to factors affecting 
three factors how do they affect you need not know the explanation just know if it is direct or indirect this part is not there in the syllabus you can just cut it off now exercise questions some i gave homework some i made you do in the zoom class please go through all those questions that is the way questions might come usually okay this i did in uh, zoom this you can try okay this you can try this is very simple you can try by yourself so please make sure you go through all the questions you have done in your notebook come to the b part now refraction through prism so as i told you this diagram i have written study from notebook okay so if you are studying from book also it's fine the major changes are i is angle of incidence e angle of emergence r1 r2 sorry this is r1 this is r2 you need not mark these angles this you don't have to mark this one is r1 and this one is r2 these both are angles of refraction angles of emergence then you will have another angle called angle of deviation and then angle of prism so please practice the diagram okay any one of them will come then um definition now what all you have to study here define angle of deviation what is angle of deviation angle between the direction of emergent ray and incident ray okay see carefully this is perpendicular distance perpendicular distance between emergent ray and incident ray and this is angle between emergent ray and incident ray is called angle of deviation represented by delta then this relationship i told you just memorize it you should know it i plus e is equal to a plus del that's the relationship between angle i e a and del then this paragraph how does refractive index produced by prism different from that of glass slab okay this also comes as a two mark question then the next thing you have to study is factors affecting angle of deviation four factors and how do they affect now factor 2 3 and 4 if you know just that in is enough but for factor 1 i put an important mark and you should know in detail because it is both directly and inversely proportional it's a little different behavior okay then this is the graph okay where you will have inverse relation and then direct relation so you have a u shaped curve and what is this curve it's between angle of incidence angle of incidence on the x axis angle of deviation on the y axis and this minimum angle is called del minimum angle of minimum deviation okay sometimes they ask you the explanation also explain i del curve now one of the questions was like this see how does angle of deviation produced by a prism change with increase in angle of incidence if that is the question you are supposed to write the explanation first okay angle of as angle of incidence increases angle of deviation first decreases reaches a minimum value and then on further increasing angle of incidence angle of deviation again begins to increase so this is the theoretical explanation then the graph properly then the next thing you should know is two conclusions in minimum deviation position now here i want to tell one thing children now the graph uh, sorry the diagram for prism incident ray and here it will bend towards the normal now in this diagram in the book it is shown like this it's not necessary that it always has to be like this it can be like this also only in one case it will be parallel to the base okay only in one condition it will be like exactly parallel to the base otherwise it will be just like this okay now this is called position of minimum deviation this position is called position of minimum deviation and the special the unique feature is the refracted ray will be parallel to the base otherwise it may not be it need not be it's okay even if they generally ask you to draw if you draw it's okay but you should know that it need not it may not be always parallel only in one condition it will be parallel that is when it is in minimum deviation position
okay so this also comes into marks what are the two conclusions in minimum deviation position so in minimum deviation position angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence second conclusion position of minimum deviation refracted ray inside the prism is parallel to its base refracted ray will be parallel to its base now then there is definition of position of minimum deviation please study that also and then this formula i plus angle i plus angle e is equal to angle a plus del in minimum deviation position because angle i is equal to angle e okay these two are equal so instead of angle e i write angle i itself because they are equal so it will become two angle i is equal to angle a plus del minimum this is only in minimum deviation position so that is the another one then these factors as i told you either direct or inverse only that you know same way the exercise questions and example whichever i've made you solve in the uh, zoom class as well as in the video please make sure you do it this one also many of you had done it wrongly i told you to do, do it again please draw it and see and then this this and this and then there are uh, numericals based on these formulas very simple okay based on this two formulas i plus e is equal to a plus del they will give you any three angles and ask you to find or sometimes in minimum deviation position this formula you have to use same way in a part also children the simple numericals are there please leave the fourth one fourth one leave it rest all you can do it it's all based on this formula this formula speed of light in air upon the refractive index is speed of light in air upon speed of light in medium so please practice these three numericals also i think that's all for now make sure you draw all the diagrams and see and prepare well for the test thank you so much